Hi everyone, it's Pastor Elizabeth Ann here, and I'm here to share with you about our memory verse for the week. It comes from Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15, and it says, So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. As we learned um, from Pastor Kathy's sermon on Sunday, God's way is always the best way, and of course, it's the wise choice. We learned that a fool is someone who puts their desires and their needs over God. They hate knowledge and understanding and discipline. They're only thinking about themselves, their wills, their desires, and their needs. But a wise person is one who lives in the light and who chooses God's way. They pursue God and they know God. They know who God is and God's voice so that when the time comes, they can hear God's instructions for their life. We have to be really intentional about our relationship with God if we want to be a wise person. So to learn a little more about what it means to be a fool or a wise person, I thought it might be neat to look at these two words from this Bible verse and their original Greek translation. So the word fool is actually the word aphron. This word translates both to fool and to unwise. It means acting without reason but it also means the lack of common sense perception of reality, both of things natural and spiritual. So this isn't just someone acting foolish or silly or someone making a simple mistake. This is acting completely without reason. The next word, wise, is sophos. The translation for sophos is wisdom of God. So it's not just being smart or having a lot of knowledge. It's a wisdom that actually comes from God. Believers are endowed with spiritual and practical wisdom. That's another definition. So when Paul was writing this letter to the Ephesians, wisdom was all about intellectual achievement. Think, you know, Socrates or Plato or other philosophers of the time. But the wisdom that Paul is talking about, Sophos, does not have to do with the intellectual ability of the person, but their spiritual understanding and their relationship with God. Wisdom is the way we live our lives for God every day. Like Pastor Kathy mentioned in her sermon, wise people seek to know God more and more so they know what God's way looks like and act out of God's will instead of their own. So how do we live wisely and seek to know God? A great place to start is by reading your Bible. And if you aren't sure where to begin there, we're actually starting a Bible study just for that on Wednesday nights at church. We're looking at where the Bible came from and we're also looking at each chapter and sort of learning how to read each chapter of the Bible, ways to study it and what we really need to know from it. Another great way is to pray. What's great about prayer is that it is both a sacred time to speak with our creator, but it is also a time to humble ourselves and listen to God. Prayer can come in many forms. It can be your own words. It can be you praying scripture. It can be you using a prayer that someone else has written when you don't have the words. You can sit in silence. You can reflect on an aspect of God. One of my favorite ways to pray and to spend time with God is to just sit outside just taking everything in, the way that the wind moves the grass, the different songs the birds in the trees are singing, or the way the clouds move across the sky. Just by taking some time to notice the creation around us, this can be a form of prayer and a way that we spend time and get to know God. Having someone that you find wise and trustworthy is also very helpful when you're seeking wisdom. 
Maybe this is a pastor, a minister, a mentor, a parent, a parent figure, or a friend. But do you have someone in your life that you can go to with anything and work through it with them? Particularly someone that is a Christian and is also seeking wisdom in their own life. These are a few really good places to start if you are wanting to live wisely. Then when the time comes, you'll have to act as a wise person. You'll get the chance to act as a wise person and not as a fool. Don't act without reason, but with the wisdom that comes from God. Ephesians 5, 15. So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise.